Uh, hello, dear friends. Thank you for joining me today. We are going to have a quick look today at a very simple um, thing, how to call uh, web service APIs or to make API calls um, to a specific service. Uh, so it could be, uh, let's say we use Graph API at Microsoft Office 365 if you work with those services, or it could be external API, um, you know, with some third party tools that you want to integrate and you want to bring um, into your workflow. So what I will do now, I will use a very simple um, open API, which is called numbers API here to make a web request to retrieve some data in a JSON format. Uh, and then I will parse the JSON to get the actual data out, uh, the actual text that we need. And that could be a good starting point to, to work. So first I go to this website, right? It's called numbersapi.com. And this is just a game site where you can um, get some random fact about numbers right and uh, uh, you can make you see there are some examples with uh, uh, calls right how to make uh, different API calls so uh, let's do something like this for example this one uh, we would get a random number and then we get some message based on this number so I copy this text, I go to my Power Automate desktop where I'm already authenticated and I create uh, the first action here. So the action that I would need if I search for web, right, uh, web automation, yeah, under web, you see we have here download from the web and invoke web service. So this action, invoke web service, I can use to um do api calls here i put the url right then i use the method in our case it will be get method and here i would change it to json to work with a specific uh, json uh, content type and for advanced options i keep it uh, the same i do not modify it and then I just click save, right? When I run this action, what happens, I get a couple of variables which are created by the flow. And one of the variables is this one. It's the actual web service response. And you see, this is the JSON response that I get. Uh, I get a specific key value pairs, right? The first key, it's called uh, text and the value is this one, right? Then there is a key number and the value is this one. So JSON, it's kind of a combination of different keys and values that go together, right? At the later stage, I will need only this information, right? What I want to retrieve is only the text property or the text value um for, for this uh, response so what we have now i have now this uh, action that calls it sends a get call to a specific api and it produces a couple of variables after that for me you know to work with json i have to find an action that uh, converts json to custom object so if I search for JSON, there is one called convert JSON to custom object. I can edit here and for the JSON, for the parameter, I can uh, reuse. So I can select this variable web service response, right? So after that, uh, I can just display. Let's do the display. Uh, display message we can maybe use this one and for the message for the message to display I can use this JSON as custom object 
So this is another variable which is produced by the second action. When we convert JSON to a custom object, this is the variable I get. Uh, so let me put it here in the message to display. I click save. And now when I run this again, right, all these three actions, they run. And I get the following. This is the full API response, right, or a custom object that was created based on this uh, JSON values, right? You see, so text, then there is a number and um, um, some other key values. So now, uh, how do I get only the text uh, value? So in order to do that, I just go here Right, I put this uh, square brackets, uh, not the curly, the square brackets, and then in quotes I type the property value or the key value, uh, I mean the key that I want to be retrieved. So here I just put text, right, I click save, and now when I run it, you see, I get the exact text that is produced by this uh, API call. So 13 is a number of loaves in a baker's dozen. Uh, I hope it gives you the initial understanding. Of course, the next step for you would be to see how to authenticate. If you use it, let's say, with a graph APIs, right? If I go to Graph Explorer, it will be similar. You know, I I use the method get, then I build the uh, actual API uh, call. You know, I compose the actual um, line for, for the API call, but uh, I have to authenticate first. So uh, this access token that has to be used in order for this API to work. And for that, I will uh, do a video later. Uh, but for now, you get an idea that uh, how to use API calls in a Power Automate desktop. So thanks for watching. Have a wonderful day and stay healthy. Bye bye.